Howdy everybody, I am Kolik and this is Summoner's War. So, anyway, usually we don't have such a good guild that we can fight during the week, so... Well, but this time we do, so I figured I'd go ahead and record it. And not only that, but there's all sorts of guardian towers over here to hit, so we're just going ahead and slap them in. Well, whatever, slap them in, I don't know. Slap them around, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, oh, we're a good guildy. We'll go ahead and start with the green plus, oh, should we start with the plus two? Or should we just get three plus threes? I will start with the plus two, I guess. Alright, so here we go. Uh, Water Panda, uh, Theomars, and Village Jewel. Look at all those nice little wings he's got flapping around. So this is the uh, Fire Panda. I mean, the Fire Panda. It's the Fire Unicorn. Oh, my God. I can't even speak. Um... It's got a shield that's pretty annoying, and then he can go a uh, human form. He also reduces damage from water attributes, um, and, and it just so I'm not really I don't really know what to think about this team. I haven't been able to face a, a fire unicorn much. Let's go ahead and hit him. All right, so obviously can't bring my standard teams of. Uh, Well, maybe I can copper him. He doesn't have any healers anyway. Let's go ahead and, and copper. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do both bulldozer too. Where's my bulldozer? Instead of Delphi. Now, hopefully. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is part of fights with FFR days, you know? FFR days. FRR days. Oh my god, I told you guys, I can't speak. Gotta make sure your guys are actually you know, powered up on their runes. You know, got the plus 15s going. Emessity actually got a completely new set of runes. Um, she is now to spare. I, I haven't, haven't finished powering it up, but that, that's okay. She's not doing the most of the damage block defense. So, okay, so now what do I do about this guy? He's going to have shields. He's going to have no armor break. But he's going to have a lot of shields. It's going to be stunning. Seems like this is a job for... Yeah, let's go ahead with the, the fire team, you think, guys? Um, I really would like an armor breaker, though, in here. Or maybe instead of Recon. So let's go ahead and put in... Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and put in Tassari. Dead. And we'll see what we can do with that. Alright, so I'm fine with the leech skill. We'll go ahead and see if this guy is comparable. Now, I really do expect that I can hit the wind water panda for a lot, but you know, how strong is he? Not sure. Now, the only thing about my message is not only did he switch from swift to despair, but he actually gained speed while doing it. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's see what he can do. Pow! Got him. Oh, oh! Look at that. This bear may come into play. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, he didn't pop my guy. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and full power punch him. And stun again. Stun. Nope. Stun. Yeah. There we go. Despair stun. <laughs> so now, yeah, now he's even faster, and he's on despair. And that really came about. Yeah, I could, I could have given him better um, runes that were swift, but I really don't see a point in making MSD too fast, if you will. See, if MSD is too fast, then it will. I mean, it's not like you. Can the other guys? You're filling up the other guy's turn regardless. Okay, so what do you want to beat though? You're not going to beat a Chloe. You're not going to beat a Swift Orion. Okay, um, you're not going to beat in these top end things. You know a Bernard, right? But 
250-ish, two, or the most 260 speed, I think. It's plenty fast to be ahead of any normal damage dealer, Chasoons. You can probably even mo outspeed most uh, stats um, and things like that. So I just don't know if there's a point to going ahead and doing it that way, you know, and uh, yeah. All right, let's see how good your Chloe is. Oh, oh I mean, the Chloe. Too soon. Too soon. All right. He's going to transform to human form, show off his powers, do an attack. Oh, he's got armor break in human form. Okay. And he switched back again. Okay. Transform to human form. Uh, uh huh. Guess he didn't proc an extra turn, just walk back. Well, we'll just uh, take him out like that. Now let's go ahead and see if we can uh, Oblivion. Now he just used Justice, I believe. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, hit him again. A little dot action going. Let's see if we can finish him off. Not quite. Fortunately, he uh, didn't have justice up. So, because I was right, he did justice. So there we go. One win. The good guys. The guys can barely speak English. <laughs> I just had a couple guys at the door trying to sell uh, cards. And the guy was like, uh, I'm trying to sell some cards to support for football. Uh, here they are. You're like, come on, man. Try and sell me something. I mean, just like, you know, don't stand there like a lump. And, you know, I was like, uh, you know, what, what, you know, what are the things? What are the cards? What are the specials? You know, it's like, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel a little sorry for the guy. But you got to be able to do a little bit better. Even in uh, ninth grade or whatever to, um, you know, to actually sell stuff. All right. So. I like this lineup right here. So you can't Katarina it because Hathor can steal Katarina and shut her down. Uh, so you have a problem because Hathor can hugely ruin Swift. So you may not be able to even Amesity or and copper this thing because he can set down one of your two wind units and then what do you do? Uh, he also gives us an HP lead, so it does make a good question of whether you can even uh, get off your bulldozer without him really impacting you. All right, so that's the definitely the downside for it. And then the, the problem with it. And the plus side, you have two damage dealers and a healer. You have two armor breaks really well constructed team. I think this is one of the better teams out there. It's hard to fight. Um, yeah. All right. But we got it, so let's try. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and I think this is a team for um, well see I see that he doesn't have anything that relates to uh, he's got armor breaks but he has no defense um, protection, if you will. He has no immunity. Okay, so a good way to fight that is by guys who are going to to do other things to him. Um, so let's see. What do I want to bring? So that's a really good question. I think Rakan is a really good one to use here. Even if he strips and resets Rakan, like I care. Um, it's hard to bring a Theomars into this fight because his Retesh is going to attack Theomars. I think I want to go with. Um, And he definitely could be on wheel runs for the first turn, which is another issue. I'm going to go with Rakan. Uh, 
tractor. Where is my tractor? I'm going to go with con tractor and um, mm, so tough on this. I think I want to go with a cleanser. So I'm going to go ahead with Delphoi, even though I know that he can target Delphoi. If he doesn't do his uh, normal ability in the first turn, I think we're good. Um, so anyway, all right, let's go on to the next one. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wind Panda. I mean, uh, Wind Monkey. So... I'm just going to keep this team, I think. Sure. Sure, we'll try that. I mean, if Orion breaks Perna or Tassarian with a defense break, then his Kingman could do quite a bit of damage to me. Um, but yeah, you don't know. I will have shield from the guy up, and he does reset my cooldowns. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with uh, poking CMRs, and we'll poke CMR some more. Doesn't get the defense break on my uh, tractor, fortunately. And we'll go ahead and slap down the MRs pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go with a. Uh, see if I can stun him. No stun. Uh, see if I can slow. He does get to meditate off on himself, was it? No, he, he meditated the MRs. I was like, I didn't think that was going to be possible. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hey, I need one more shot. <laughs> All right. He tried to arm break a tractor. That didn't work out too well. I'm going to go ahead and heal. And don't quite get the kill, but we're conscious. All right, so one guy now. We'll see about resetting him. I got it off. He's going to try and strip me, and he fails. Um, hey, I get a stun off this time. Now, Tractor actually has a really, really good chance to stun. Uh, we'll go ahead and slap him. And... Uh, um, yeah, sure, we'll try and stun. No stun, no stun. <laughs> All of Adam Fox, but no stuns, huh? Um, oh, almost kill him off right there. And he takes out my tractor, unfortunately. Just done enough healing with the Delphoi. Uh, yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and reset you again. And, uh, Never con finish you off. Fortunately, I can uh, get that up, and we'll get AF a collapse. Hi, Retage. Saying hello. Reset you again. Oh, he goes twice, of course, to, to mitigate that. Uh, well, I'll just take a place to turn myself and heal myself back up and set your cooldowns back. And alrighty. Uh, not sure what that was from Delphoi, but sure. Okay, so my goal here first is kill off Kamun. Without a Kamun up, he's got no shields. Without shields up, he's got no real chance. And uh, but uh, no, he uh, he had a lot of. I don't think I crit there. Now my opponent is not max crit, unfortunately. Just can't afford that. Uh, it's hard to get all the stuff on you want on Perna. I mean, uh, there's definitely. Mine's kind of a hybridish, I guess you could say. It's not a full damage dealing printer. Alright, let's see if we can. Well, the real problem right here, at least, is I didn't get Oblivion on the first time. With uh, Oblivion, this wouldn't be an issue. Of course, now he's just deciding to try and go a bit of hand, but Perna gets a violent proc, and that ends that. Now, at this point, I can pretty much just auto. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and auto and kill the wind monkey. That way I can knock out his counterattack. This is the problem in this fight though. His K-Moon really isn't strong enough to kill anything that has any sort of hit points, fire nukers. I mean, I could sit there and go to Saurian and Raccoonie and not need to burn out at all because there is no way that the Wind Monkey ever does anything. Uh, except maybe stun a unit randomly. He's never going to do any significant damage and Rena's just going to take him all day. And then that was it. That was the fight. So, it's not like I need a Perna in this fight. It's nice. Makes the fight shorter, especially, which is cool for videos. But, um, not required. This team, I don't like this team. It's, the other team, you know, it's, it's hard to beat it. I lost a unit. I almost lost a second unit. I mean, if he had a few more dozen violent procs in his favor, maybe he could kill Rakan. <laughs> I mean, really, truthfully, if I once um, once his segment was dead, it's tough to beat Rakan with those guys. But of course, Rakan can just fail, and uh, and you know, um, and we get screwed. But sometimes he doesn't fail. All right, so he's got Rakan and Leo and the stat here. So we're going to go ahead and put my team that I like up here against them and put Orion in the lead. So he's got, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have a healer for, that can stand up to Rakan. <laughs> go figure. Um, so let's see, what do I want to do against him? Now he's going to have some muting. I think my Rakan would beat his Rakan. I just, I'm just saying I like my Rakan, okay? My Rakan's pretty good. So the real question is, is killing his, is Leo. And I think I could do that with, uh, with Rakan also. Um... Question is, what else do I want to bring? I guess I'm going to go bring Perna. Do I have enough to survive with uh, Delphoi? I do have. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I think the first person, do I really want to kill Leo first or Bastet? That's the real question. Huh. I'm not sure on the answer on that. Uh, anyway, this gives me all immunity all around, so I don't have to worry about some stuff. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put up more immunity. Um, we're going to go ahead and go for his Leo, though, I think. Uh, his Leo is pretty tanky. All right. Yeah, his, uh, this guy, I'm going to have to go for Leo first, simply because um, he will kill off my guy. And that's the way to handle Leo, I guess. I got a cooldown reset time, which is awesome. And start working on his stat a little bit. A little slow. Come on, give me a crit. I did crit. And maybe another little slow. I mean, obviously, you know, the stat's going to be fast. So go ahead and put up more immunity so I don't have to worry about his defense break. That's the reason why I wanted to bring Delphoi anyway, was because. Defense breaking on Perna and defense breaking, uh, well, defense break on Perna would be really bad. And, uh, yeah. Alright, the stat is almost dead. Let's see if we can poke her off. We do. Boom! It's collapse time, huh? Alright, so. Boom! He might kill me. And, uh, to be honest, that can happen. I mean, it's going to happen. He's going to have a lot of, got a lot of attacks that he's going to get to make, you know. Um, unfortunately, also, though, his Rakan is... It's, uh, it's bleeding slowly. Huh. 
<laughs> Alrighty, that's one way to handle a Perna, huh? Oh, my Rakan. As for 16,000 on him. Yeah, I knew. I knew he was going to die. You know, once I started having to poke Rakan, it's, it's a given. And that is Rakan dead. Alright, so sometimes I like to bring Chiwu in here. I can run a block on um, on Theomars. Uh, now he is a G1 guy, so I expect his Theomars to have a boatload of uh, I'm sorry, his just soon to have a boatload of hit points. Otherwise, I could, if it's a lower rank player, I could hit his just soon. Probably kill his just soon off, not have an issue so much. But since it's a high level player, um, I, I really expect him to be able to do that. Unfortunately, I also expect uh, his, his theme marsh not to glance and pluck, you know, five violence and, and stuff like that. No! Ah! And he manages to beat me on this turn, and I don't violent proc, and now uh, glancing is down, and he's going to beat me on the next turn, and he wants to continue Okay, and he's like, Max resists. <laughs> and Max accuracy, I guess. And I don't know, Mike just seems dead, though. Um, yeah, Mike just soon is dead, unless I proc another violent. Yep, she is dead. And... Oh, I finally get a violent. There we go. Off of Theomars, and of course, next turn he's glancing. Now, Mike Chasun, I don't know, uh, guys, it's about your Chasun, but Mike Chasun's like just glancing. What the hell? I mean, she like never, ever puts up glancing, and it always seems those enemy uh, ones they put up glancing like hey, whenever they need it, it's up. It's just like you know, I mean, it doesn't matter, and they don't. Have they don't bother with it, it's just it randomly, you know, favors whenever they need it, they just put it up. Yep. Anyway, alright guys. Um so that gives you a little bit of indication of how we do against higher level guilds. Now you're talking like what we'll call it you you drew one. It's like, well yeah, I did. Of course, I'm a C three player, so I'm not even the top end of my guild. The fact is that I can take on these high level guard these guardian players and, and beat their defenses. And the procs didn't really go in my favor in that fight. Um, one more proc from Shasun. I mean, not Shasun, from Theomars. He could have easily swung the game in my favor completely. He managed to land my arm break on my Orion like it was nothing, of course. Meanwhile, I can't land debuff from his. But, you know, whatever it is. All right, guys. Anyway, this is uh, Kolik, and I'm signing out.